apparent understanding human nature as simple as it gets and don't make this symbol look too complicated just see just three big triangles three big triangles <coughs> now the top point the top point is every point of focus of our attention the triangle below that, the top triangle, going from the tunnel to the face and down to the eyes, to the vision, is the attention. And we have a flow of attention. We watch the point and we see it move, which is the first dimension, across the surface, which we see as behind that movement, which is the second dimension and we need the, fi the fifth dimension in which is the eye, the observer to see that so that flow of attention in which we call now you know it's forever the now is forever that flow of attention following the movement of the point seeing the face, the background, and that point drawing like a cartoon. And that is what we call, you know, the two-dimensional quantum mechanics. That's the level of quantum mechanics. You know, the continuous, if you like, movement of a point from place to place, and movement of a point against the background, seen as a two-dimensional image. this is the flow of attention the idea is to get the, the forever the continuity of it into your mind that constant flow of attention from the point to the movement across the surface the building up of the face we see movements and we see faces and this is the top triangle now this is a continuous process the flow of attention now that flow of attention then develops into the next triangle you know the, the wave to the grid or the checkerboard down to the flame the third which is space to the fourth which is time down to the eighth which is energy now this is the flow of space time we move from time place to place time to time because as the attention flows the attention notices these changes in, in places and times so we notice the change in the smell so we of a place so we notice we're in different spaces we hear different echoes so we know we're in different spaces So just as the top triangle is the video signal, this is the audio signal. You know, we have an echolocation, we identify or create that third dimension through sound, through waves. And then the continuity of that wave on the background of day and night, of time, of changes over time. You know, every shadow is a... Um, sundial every shadow is a sundial you know the four is the hands of a clock but you could also see it as a sundial you could also see it as just the angle of the sun so we can see the changes in dark and light and this gives, gives us a daily cycle with the fourth you see it gives us the daily cycle of the large intestines Because these, you know, as I explained in other videos, develop into organs of the body, these movements in mind of energy, of the prana, of the structure of, my, of, my, of mind.
So the first top triangle is the video, is the flow of attention. The next triangle is the flow of space and time which develops from the flow of attention. We understand and see from our attention that there's different smells, different places, different shadows, different times in the cycle, different energy levels. Coming down to the eighth, you see, in that triangle. But see, this is the flow of space-time. You know, we're thinking about yesterday and tomorrow. This is the time traveling. You know, the schedule, schedule, scheduling. You know, the routine. You know, the, the, the pattern we have experienced. This is the audio triangle so it's also the instructions that we follow you know from the from the words and it's about the people we cooperate with or have to live with and understanding like the sounds of their voices you know for different moods different times of day and then as we move around you know in space time from place to place and time to time, we become under different pressures as we meet different objects in different places and different objects or at different times. So we then come down to the third triangle, which is the pressure triangle, <coughs> which is called which is the flow of things. You know, the flow of things, you know, that we experience, that we pass through, that we collect, that we think of that we desire, which we, or which we make, which we collect, which we shop for, which we make, which we construct, which we imagine, which we describe, which we need. This is the flow of things. This is the flow of things. It's also our body actually moving around, so it's the, you know, it's the, the food. So the, the, the bottom triangle creates that energy. That energy then creates, the, the you know, the, the, the life to be able to, carry on as the observer, as the driver. Remember, even the fifth dimension is the driver, the eighth dimension is the engine, and the ninth dimension is the vehicle, the body. So the bottom triangle is about food, you know, the collecting of food, or working to get money to get food. The middle triangle is the schedule, the work schedule, the routine, you know, the, the, the functioning of the body. So you see all three are continuous. You have a continuous flow of attention in the top triangle, a continuous flow of space-time in the second middle triangle, and a continuous flow of things, a pressure variations, and realities, if you like, that we live with, but reality literally means the world of things. Now, to go back to the top, but when we're first born, or the very mind focuses on a point and focuses in and out to create the Isakawa and Toptic, which we see as a breast, a, a circle with a central point which we see as the holy mountains in the structure of society in like Silver Hill and this breast we identify with love and love is like the source of nourishment that is the self and so we watch the movement of the breast to try and get the breast to get some milk so we follow the movement so we follow the movement of other things like prey that might get us food in the tunnel and so we can see the course of action like we see the course of the arrow going towards the prey so we can see the course of action and that can become onto any any sort of course any sort of academic course we can see you know the, the outcome and the actual nature of the course you know the, the the benefit if you like the karma so we can have a conscience you know about our behavior because we're aware of the consequences back re reflecting back upon ourselves it was in 
and then we can see in the second, second dimension on the surfaces the reaction in the faces. So we have the intuition, you know, the understanding. See, understanding cannot be reached by reasoning. And things are only reflection in mind. If you can understand this structure, it will free your imagination to be more creative. So we're always focusing on that point. So this is the this is the, the, the super pixel and as that we see the movement, we see the future and we see if you like, you know, the need for that to be straight. So we have the input of our conscience and the output of being a perfectionist, you know, being straight. You know, being impartial in justice, this is about law, you know, towing the line, you know, following the path. And then one to two, that, 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 that path, that line from, from the tunnel to the face is the video signal. So we see this video signal and we constantly recognize, see the movement and recognizing the faces, the surfaces. And this develops in us, in our left hemisphere. We develop the movement. So we describe movement, we have a speech center and a conscience. And we can see the consequences. So we can like go over the top into paranoia. I mean, the other side of this, you know, this, uh, because this happens in the third eye. This energy flow, this continuous flow, happens in the third eye. We see it in the third eye as an integra integrated image of consequences of action and, and the faces. So we basically, we see, if you like, the, the breast, the movement of the breast to get the breast, and then we see the reaction of the mother in the face to whether we're going to get the breast and be fed. This is how the baby thinks. This is how the baby functions. Follows the breast to get fed and sees the mother's face to reaction. And this is where the development of the intuition comes from, from reading the mother's face. So it's like the relationship with the mother is primary because the mother's reaction is the judgment, is the basic control factor upon the child. Now from that continuous flow, the other two arm size of the triangle from 1 to 5 or 5 to 1 is the differential and from 2 to 5 or 5 to 2 is the integral so we've got a differential, we've got an acceleration we can see you know, our relative acceleration between ourselves as the driver in five, the observer, and the other objects we see moving around us, if you like, in the tunnel. You know, if you focus on one object, we see like there's like a tunnel vision on that object. And that object is identified on the surface by its face. So this can apply to an object or to a person. This is sort of fundamental to understand these two levels that we develop. You know, I suppose in the system we develop the recognition of objects and surfaces, you know, but, but in our natures we identify faces and recognize relationships, you know, relationships in terms of, you know, control and influence. Basically, if it's mother who's going to feed you. And then we come into the next triangle, which is space-time.
And number three, the third dimension, the space, is basically the home. The three is actually an ohm sign, truncated ohm sign. So three to four is the endurance of that wave into the sound. And that comes out in the throat chakra, the voice. Now if we go back to two to five, we're recognizing faces here now, the seeing of a face in five, the seeing to the face. Now in four to eight and eight to four on that path, this is resonance and dissonance. You know, are we getting on with that surface? Is it the right time? Is it the right time for that energy? So have an audio signal and then from three to eight we have the second differential, the the acceleration of the acceleration, you know, which is changing over time, over space time. So we have, you know, energy that big wave of feelings and energy levels over time, over the year, over years, over the days, over the months. We have those three energy cycles. Sometimes it's hot and sometimes it's cold. And this is the path from eight to three. You know, this is the intensity, the temperature, the energy. So it's the intensity in the music. If you like to take this as the sound, it's the intensity in the voice. And eight to four is the resonance or the dissonance, the harmony, the sweetness in the voice. You can see how this goes back to the mother, you know, accepting the child, you know, to feed the child. The child then from seeing the face learns to react without seeing the face but in its own energy reacts to the mother's voice and so reacts to, this is the number four the checkerboard the black and white the oscillation between black and white between day and night that's why it's a checkerboard a checkerboard of nights and days Now, so the mo the changing from place to time, to time, you know, is is I compared, if you like, or it comes into the number eight, into the energy, into the flame. So the second differential, the second differential, and the second integral of four to eight. You know, the functions for that resonance and dissonance, for that function, for that energy level at the time. For example, friction would create more heat. You know, would make the the atmosphere more intense. So it works positively and negatively. Well, it's positive and negatively from the sound of the mother's voice on the child's nervous system. You know, it you know gets you back up or makes you chill out or calm down and then that you see functions takes the pressure off on the pressure triangle at the bottom coming down to the position of the body so the 
the pressure on the body creates a certain posture. If you if you go back to the top again, that let's go back. We we'll go back to nine. Is the posture the nine, the descent entropic, the clockwise entropic? It's a clockwise spiral. Clockwise spiral. It's a nine. It's a G for gravity that brings everything down into its position. In the super pixel, this is quantum gravity. The actual position, what we see as position, you know, in space, you know, of the objects that are passing through our hands from like six to seven. We're touching them and seeing their shapes, their zigzags, their corners, their shapes and we're tasting them. This is normally identified with leaves. This is the touch, the pressure triangle, the flow of things, the continuous sort of reality, you know, that we're living, collecting food or working, 